I don't have what it takes. Just take a moment, steady your breathing, and see this, it's appearing in your awareness as a sound, a mental suggestion. I don't have what it takes. And become aware if this is a brand new suggestion for this process or if it's something you've heard many times before. This voice suggesting you don't have what it takes. And just take time to recognize this is a sound that you hear. You are aware of it. And check and see if it's accurate for you that the sound is not aware of you. So now, once again, listen to the sound. You don't have what it takes. And what feeling happens when you buy into or go along with that thought? So now just tune in to the inner experience of your body. Identify what feeling happens. And describe it in terms of energy. I experience an electric like, sense of uh, electric zapping, like as if to make me retreat. Zap, 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 zap. Okay, so like mini shock. Mini shock, but a series of them. Okay. Compression. Compression? Compression, yeah. Like a big compression pushing you. Yes. Same thing for me. Literally. Compression. I literally felt small. Small. The edge of my body. Smaller. Collapse. Yeah. Collapse. Yeah, like a pulling in. Pulling in. Contraction. Heaviness. Heaviness. Contraction and collapse. Now, is this feeling, this energetic response, is it brand new or is it old, familiar? Old. 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 Mm -hmm. Old and familiar. Old. Old. And what is the learned judgment of this feeling? It's a, is it a welcome guest or an enemy? Does it have a right to life or must it be eliminated? Just tune in and see what is the, the learned response to this feeling? It must be obeyed. Mm -hmm. So it's, it bosses me around. It must be yeah. obeyed. Okay. I, I give in to it. Keeping me alive. Mm -hmm. It feels like safety. For me, it must be eliminated. Want to push it away? Yeah, I feel the resistance to it. Okay, so maintaining steady breathing. Maintaining steady breathing, observing, and what happens in your, in your body and in your mind and in your life when you automatically go along with this feeling is a threat, I don't like it, I need it. What, what happens when you involve with this? I go away from whatever triggers it. 
the retreat. I feel depressed. More heaviness. Limitation. Find excuses to not do it. Yeah. Analysis, paralysis. I reach for distractions. I feel slumped and heavy. I blame myself. Yeah, I hate myself. I get anxious. So be aware that this is a strategy that you have learned and practiced over and over to either get rid of the feeling, to hold on to it, to react to it. This is a strategy. I find that I even try to push beyond it, like to pretend it's not there. Yeah. Yeah, numbing. So really be aware, you're using all your creative power to practice a strategy to involve with an energy. Just take a moment and compute that. And has this strategy worked? Has it worked to bring you ease and connection and enthusiasm or has it failed to bring you that inner stress failed only brought self-judgment and blame self blame epic fail has fighting the feeling or or, or holding on to it, all this, and has that broken the spell of the thought that you started with? And the thought was, you don't have what it takes. Has all of this involvement, fighting the feeling, holding on to it, has that delivered you freedom from the thought? You don't have what it takes. Not or one bit. Perpetuated it. Yeah, it, it made it stronger. Mm -hmm. It's prolonged it. More disbelief. Anybody, anybody answer that the strategy works and it's, it's, a, it's a working strategy, it works for me? To feel emotional stress from a thought and then to involve with or fight the emotional stress. Does that strategy work? Something you want to continue? Anybody? No. Recognizing that you are free. Either it's your choice. You are free. So for those of you who have found that it's a failed strategy, then are you willing to meet the feeling in a new way here and now? Yes. 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 All right. So deep breath. And let's revisit the triggering thought. You don't have what it takes and tune in to the feeling that happens when you buy that thought, when you believe it. The feeling of heaviness, contraction, shock, clench, collapse, whatever it is for you. Now, a few steady deep breaths. This is the first way to meet this energy in the new way. Instead of shutting down and going into the stressed nervous response, to meet it with the relaxed nervous system. 
And as you breathe steadily, unbrace the body. Check your fingers and toes, hands and feet, steadily breathing. Believe me, you can multitask. You can steadily breathe and consciously unbrace the body. Face behind the eyes, the jaw. And now, while steadily breathing and unbracing your body, tune in again to the raw energy, the shock, sink, collapse, the smallness, the shrinking, and allow the energy to vibrate. Don't interfere with it in any way as best you can. And if you hear your thoughts trying to interfere, assess, or analyze, just turn your attention away from the sounds of thought into the silence. And see if you can sense the relaxation in which the energy is unfolding, is running its course. And knowing that you can have the old strategy back anytime you want, you can brace or hold your breath or go mental, but just for now, experiment. Remember your commitment to meet it in the new way and stay tuned in to the silence, the relaxation. And let the energy float untethered from your gripping, untethered from your thinking. Allow it to float. Maintaining steady breathing and maintaining tuning into silence. And now, once again, tune into the triggering energy you started with, the shrink, collapse, brace, shock, whatever it was, tune into whatever is left of it. And invite it to be as active as if you're giving it its one last hurrah. Invite it to be as active as possible. whether that's pressure, shock, sink, shrink. Let it be as active as possible. Sensing, tasting, feeling, as if it's for the last time you're involving with it, dancing with it. And now, zoom your attention out into the space. The relaxation and silence in which the energy is floating. And finally, ask yourself, in this moment, what's more interesting? 
the relaxation, the silence, or the minuscule vibration of energy. What's more interesting? Knowing that you are free where you place your attention. Just for now, what's more interesting? And whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes if they're closed and bring your attention back to the space we share.